this tutorial we're going to simulate a smart kitchen simulating augmented reality and other type of uh, internet of things that we can find in a smart kitchen um, to begin with I have two images here one is showing something cooking in the oven and a background image here um, on my uh, left hand side here I'm going into the layers panel here and I'm going to double click actually to see the image I have inside as you can see I have the kitchen image and it, the kitchen image is logged so um, by default you will it will be unlocked if you hover on it you can click on the padlock to lock it the reason being of locking this is since it's going to be a fixed background and I will put some images on top I don't want that the image moves left right top or bottom so it's locked there and will stay put now, um, in this tutorial, we're going to use some um, uh, hover states using um, components, grouping images, and also using um, uh, plugins in this in this tutorial. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is to hover on top of the oven, and it shows the picture which, what's inside the oven. And this is the picture that we will be showing. So the first thing I'm going to create um, a rectangle which covers I'm going to zoom in a little bit so what it can work more comfortable so I'm going to create a rectangle that covers only this part of of the of the oven glass and reduce the opacity down to 30 percent even less maybe 25 it will do the work 25 percent now I'm going to create this um uh, let's call it small rectangle or narrow long rectangle again the width will be oh uh, sorry the opacity will be of 25 percent i'm going to move it a little bit down with the arrow keys this will also help me to centralize things okay i've done command zero is the shortcut key or control zero on the pc to put in the screen back and zoom out from the screen I'm going to um, put this image here. Obviously, I'm going to reduce the size of this image. Let's say uh, if this rectangle is 257 by 168. I will try to use the same size. OK, this will do the size. So we keep everything as proportioned. And also this image, let's zoom a little bit in so we see that things are properly in place, will be um, set, the opacity will be set down to zero this time. You can go back. Okay, so um, come on zero so I can zoom out. The next step is to um, a group the three elements together so I'm going to actually with the, my selection tool select the three elements right click and select group now to start putting some hover state actions I need to change this into a component so I right click and from the drop down menu I select make component and here I have a grouped make component image now I can start putting some states as you can see the default state is how it's showing here and uh, what i'm going to do on the default state is to reduce this down to um, the, the, the rectangle opacity down to zero or maybe we can yes leave it like that uh, the uh, let's call it long narrow rectangle i'm going to reduce the size the height from 169 to 5 pixels and the um, opacity the appearance down to zero same uh, damage will go down to zero so the default state the first time it, the, the the kitchen will appear will have this this uh, appearance without the image and without that narrow bar coming up now once we have set the default state we can add a hover state 
and in this hover state we will change a little bit things so we will start by it's good to double click here and start seeing where are things <laughs> so by clicking on the component and double clicking on the component <clears throat> I can I can see I have rectangle one which is the large one and the rectangle two which is the small one, and this would go up back to one six nine as it was originally, and uh, the uh, opacity would go back to twenty five, um, uh, and the image or will go up to hundred percent visibility and this will happen on the next stage so to preview this we can go back we can go to the prototype area and we uh, actually before going back to the prototype area we need to set the hover state back to default state and uh, double clicking on the rectangle where the hover will happen we just um, open a, a, an interaction once that is done we can test it as you can see when i hover on top of the, the 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 glass it shows what there is inside the oven and maybe we can add some information about the temperature and the cooking time remaining so that we can eat our meal um, we can also set the speed of the animation here it's on tap we can say on hover and we can also choose the state which is hover state auto animate and maybe if we increase a little bit the speed this will come smoother let's say 8.8 .8 seconds and we can see that now we have a smoother and more professional way how to display so this is the first um, interaction or simulation of AR maybe we can put the phone in front of the oven here and we can see what's cooking inside the next <coughs> Part is to bring the screen the information of the screen in front of us while we are cooking doing coffee or making taking breakfast instead of you know pulling out this I can pull it out this um, an, on a hologram perhaps uh, or in another other um, augmented or virtual reality technology for this we're going to use a plugin um, it's the lottery plugin <clears throat> you can uh, install this for free just Will ask you to sign in and the lottery plugin will uh, actually provide you with many icons or uh, animate icons we can say so so let's search for for example news because we want to see the news while we while we are doing breakfast or, or maybe we are actually um cooking let's that we can actually Put this inside and this will be inserted here what we are going to do is we want this to uh, be uh, resized let's go back to the design resized and we want to put this um, flat on the screen so we can select from our right hand side this symbol here is the 3d symbol which enables us to rotate things and then place it where we would like to place it and then set maybe it's visually it's better because we can see what's going on and put this here okay so we can see that we have the item here and what will happen is that um, maybe uh, we can use another on cl and click this time we will copy this a copy of of this artboard okay so we have the hover and we have our on the second artboard actually what we will do is we will pull out our news rotate and maybe enlarge a little bit and this will happen on clicking the, the screen or the news here so we'll go to the prototype area one zero so we can view everything and from here this would go to the other here so if we actually now preview this you can see that we have the news on the screen and if we want to pull out the news on front of us we just click on it 
and this will come out. Now we can actually um, use for this note animation, we can use on tap, we can use on tap, we can use also a voice command. Yeah. And the action will be show news. And this will go to our the destination will be on um, our second dartboard here. So if we actually see what happens, show news. And we can see that with our voice command, also the news will show. Uh, we can hover here and actually see what's going in the oven. And as you can see, we have created um, a simulation of our smart kitchen.